Welcome back to Lake Texoma for the Texas Collegiate Challenge presented by Abu Garcia. This is the third stop on the road to the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Championship and anglers are up against some rough conditions. Winds gusting up near 30 has the field bunched up in and around the marinas. And that's where we'll pick up the action with Matt Brown and Connor Fogg fishing for Bryan College. We start off in the back of this marina trying to fish a shad spawn and um, we're trying to flip these, these slips uh, with a spinner bait and a jig and stuff and, and catch them. He's caught a crappie, white bass and, and stuff so far. We're thinking once the sun kind of starts to get up it might pick up a little bit more. But this is what we've been doing in practice and it's been paying off. Uh, You're going to hear a lot of tinks and clinks. Too. Yeah. We're trying to put a spinner right back in some places and around these docks. It's tough to get to. Bryan College is sitting on top of the current Cabela's School of the Year standings, and they made the trip from Dayton, Tennessee to defend their lead. You know, we drove 14 hours, had two blowouts just to get here, and you know, it means a lot just to be able to get here and fish this lake, our school, and, and programs like this that makes it possible. But to be able to win something like this and put our school on the map, you know, would mean, would mean a lot to us. We think that we can go out on the main lake and crank and, and catch five. But we're wanting to do this because we know these fish in here are the bigger ones. These are, these are better quality fish. If we, we believe these are the winning fish if we can get them to bite. I, I honestly believe a, a decent limit of fish is going to take you real far in this one. Just, just because of the fact that all these fish are, you know, it shuts the shad down, you know, just a front doing something like this. And the our, best. Our water temps dropped about three or four degrees, so. That really, it messes with the bass, but it really messes with the shad. It's late spring and Texoma is transitioning. One of the most productive patterns right now is the shad spawn, but the shad are finicky and the drop in temperature is having an effect. Nathan Martin and Austin Mize are one. also keying on the shad. Throwing crankbaits on a bass. sloping bank, yeah. Nathan's got the first hookup of the day. You want me to help you or you got it? Look, I just swing it. Nah, high highs. That'll work. Right there, good job. Ah. Chill out. Always good to get the monkey out of the boat. It ain't a big one. I like to call that one. But I want to get five and then go from there. I thought he was bigger than that when he jumped. I thought he was at least three pounder. But. What did he eat? Square bill? Yep. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Get a good shot? Post it up. Hashtag we are collegiate best.